Oh dear. That is no good. Why did they flush it in place? Right, workout is done. I'm now gonna go home and get ready for the day. Good start of the day, let's say. Amazing workout, let's go. Good morning, everyone. So, here's the clip. All right, let's just say that was a little bit waste of a journey. I just spoke to the dad and the vehicle is actually across the road on a curb. Can't move, obviously I'm on my own today. It's gonna be impossible for me to move the vehicle all the way across here. I think I'm gonna leave my brother to work on this tomorrow because he's gonna be bringing his matey. You can just about see it behind that man that's loading his car. It's behind that Renault right there. I can't be pushing it on the road right here. Uh, we were actually here, but obviously this car was all the way down that road and it wasn't safe for us to actually do anything on it. So now we've moved it to the drive, there's three of us today and we can finally get the clutch replaced and the dual mass flywheel as well. So come, come with us, let's do it. John, man-made extension, please. Man-made extension. There you go. We are on. Let me double check you. You might have missed something. You've not been a mechanic for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just you, mate. Managing a garage, mate. That's what you do. Right. What's the time? 25 minutes? 27. 27? Ah, uh, damn. Personal best 20. We rounded, man. Oh, my lord. We grinded up. Bro, look at that, mate. That circle. What is that, man? What is going on? This is the first time I've seen a BMW like this. It usually doesn't get to this point. Usually what we see is that there is still some meat left. But with this one, unfortunately, it's, it's finished, let's just say. So we have found what may have caused this. The customer later told us that his gearbox is actually faulty. No first gear. And as you know, starting at second gear will definitely cause your clutch to wear out a lot quicker. Oh? Huh? <laughs> Yo, what's up? And that's what happens if it's centered properly, John. It goes in. <laughs> nice. All right, so that is us all done. <sighs> Nothing left underneath. You just gotta pack up and stuff now. This one was a little bit sketchy, to be honest. If you have a look at this, look at that. The only reason why it's on the ramp is because I actually left one of the jack stands. I left it on someone's car because I had to leave it for the bearing that you might see on this video. But yeah, it's a, it was a bearing job and um, they didn't have the right part. I had to leave it there, that's why. There is this reason why this is here as well is because like it's it's a little bit sketchy it moves forwards and backwards if that makes sense as you can see it's on four legs at the moment 
you've got that jack stand in and then the other side so a bit sketchy john was it safe what we did today yeah definitely not mate huh definitely i not. think it definitely is so yeah but yeah i think it worked out fine obviously we gave it a good wiggle and stuff like that and it worked out that it's okay wouldn't be doing that again all done with this now yeah we'll bring this down and then we'll move on to the next job shall we let's go Here we are with this Peugeot 106, I think. Customer called us saying that when he turns, he can hear like grinding noise. He suspected that is the wheel bearing. Well, to be honest with you, the customer is 100% correct. Because if you have a look at this, have a listen. So three and nine o'clock, nothing. And then 12 and 6 tells me that we're going to be replacing this. Hopefully, the bolts are friendly and not seized or anything like that. But we got supplied a new WD 40 as well, anyway, for the just in case. So let's get started. Let's remove the wheel bearing on this. Oops. Oh. going to be. Oh, we go. Sorry, mate, that was a number one. I actually started with Dewalt. Cut pins. Why did they flush it in place? Like literally, look at this. That has seized in place and I can't even put anything in between there. That is so annoying. Miracles. WD-40 cures the cancer of cars. I can't believe it moved. I literally just tapped it as well. Wow, amazing. And no, that's, that's not an ad for WD-40, by the way. I'm just amazed. That's all. The cutter pin out. There it is. Pin is out. Now we can finally move on to getting this one off. should be out I should with the word it's gonna let me all right next challenge ABS sensor I reckon that this is seized in place as well that's what I think Pretty do bit. It is not looking good. Right, there's movement there. Well, for the people who's wondering why I'm removing the ABS sensor, why can't I just take it out from the wiring itself? It's just a clip anyway. Well, I'll tell you, I'm gonna have to remove it on the bench anyway later because we're gonna be pressing the bearing out that way. And as you know, the ABS sensor is here and the bearing is right here. So, I'm gonna break it otherwise. I'm just trying to be careful I don't break it. These are only light taps, by the way. I'm trying not to cause any damage. Come in. <sighs> mm. 
man, the wheel speed sensor broke. Didn't work it enough. Oh well, no. to replace this anyway. It is what it is, my friend. Alright, well. <coughs> we tried. mate look at that this is when you put copper grease in just to make sure that doesn't happen and this is what i didn't want to do in the first place as well well we're gonna have to replace it All right, so here we are. We've got to press this out, and that as well as you can see right there. I am currently at my brother's workshop, so yeah, we're gonna be using that press because that thing is very hard to remove. That's part of the be bearing. So let's go and get it done, so we can put this back on on that Peugeot 106 thing. Yes, my brother works in this workshop. He's actually left me on my own as mobile, and John, he's a he's a pr mate. Yeah, that's right. He left me for this massive ass workshop, but yeah, we'll get it done. At least we can use him. Ha! Hey, there you go, some movement. Oh, oh, oh. oh mate. Look at that, man. The circle is still in there, look. What is that, man? What a struggle. But this is where we're at, at the moment. It's moved. Remove half of it, let's just say. But that will be the next problem. It's moving. It's coming off. So let's keep going. There you go. It's finally out. Now it's time to give this a good clean. Look how many hands. <laughs> yep. Look at that. It's coming out. Keep at it. The struggle that oh my lord yeah she's out now time to give the hub a good clean i can't lie to you that wheel bearing was not friendly at all that's so annoying just have a look at it hard to persuade this uh this wheel bearing man okay look at that why don't you guys just comment down the stories I know you guys had something like this, an experience of some sort where just a wheel bearing or even the circlip would not come off. So I'd put it down below. Yeah, tell me your story. All right, here we go. You good? It will bottom out, you'll feel it. That's it. Nice. No, a bit more. Goodness sake. Oh, so lucky. Yeah. Until it bottoms out. Oh, that was rather the most difficult bearing job ever. Ever. Like, no exaggeration. A lie. In it? In it? Look at that. Look at that. The metal flake flew in. Yeah. Luckily, he was wearing PPE. Imagine that going to your eyes. He was actually bleeding like crazy. But anyway, off to the customer. Let's get this done and sorted. Let's go. Boys, here we are. Currently fitting in. Parents, <laughs> naka, no? Mm 
tight, huh? Rototop, put the WD on it. So just imagine that, that this job is a three man job, three man job. It's not, it's not. I'm joking, that's why I'm, I'm going like this, mate. But yeah, we're having fun anyway, you know. Hey, look at this guy, I don't know what he's doing now. See what I mean? Like, come on, we're supposed to be professional, guys. Or shall I say, professional? Huh? Look at this guy. Look, at least he's wearing some sort of uniform today. He was wearing his hoodie earlier and actually looked hoodie, nice. Hoodie. He's wearing his hoodie. Yeah, I would like to apologize as well because uh, we haven't been posting content. Camera action thing is not working. So yeah, we're currently recording on our phones. Uh, it's not something that I'd like to do. It takes up a lot of space recording at 4K, but anyway. He's just sorting that out now. Almost done. We've literally boiled everything up. It's just the worst. That's, that's what that's left to do. So. Uh, next job, we've got two MOTs, one M3 and uh, one E3, I believe. So let's go to that. Right, so we are now with the M4 here. We're taking it for an MOT now. I did the brakes on the other day for this one. I like 450, I think? Yeah. yeah. It's got new brakes in it the other day, so hopefully that shouldn't fail it. Well, we will not fail anyway, but you know. Yeah, we're just uh, we're just gonna wait for the results. It's booked in for four o'clock. Well, adios, we're gonna collect their other car, so let's go. Cool. Look, look at this criminal using copper grease. Look at him. You have to, innit? What a criminal. Huh? You have to, innit? What copper grease, yeah? See? See what I mean? See what I mean? Criminal. <laughs> just picked up the parts for the m4 and as you can see it's v and a for the front disc and then padded as you know i like padded for the pads and the sensors padded as well of course but yeah let's get that loaded All right, so here we are with the M4 right here. I actually came here about two months ago to do a major service in this vehicle. And I've advised them to replace the front disc and the pads as well, because they are wearing down. And now he's got the warning. That's why he's called us here today. And this is for my Jack people. I appreciate that guys thank you very much for obviously pointing that out safety is important so yeah, let's just do that yeah as you can see there that is rusted and it's not really in the best of all conditions is it same over there as well you can see it Pads wearing thin. There we go. Two very dirty pins. Forgot to press record. God damn it. Pads running low as well, so there you go. Not much life in them left. Oh 
Oh dear. Alright. What's my plan of action here then? Right, if that doesn't come off, it's game over. Game over. Oh no. My good lord. My good lord. Yeah, that's next level stripped. Yeah. Next. Probably a mask, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Don't you just find it scary when the bolts, you know, the the hub bolts, not even the hub bolts, the brake disc bolts, when they start to like, when you see it spin, but not the bolt, oh man, craziest feeling, I thought I'm going to have to grind it off, but yeah, luckily we didn't, let's go, move on to the next side. These pads are meant to be quick swap pads, but okay, someone explained this to me, yeah? I, I did not understand this. I, I, I never would. Why put a glue and adhesive on the back? I don't understand. This is meant to be a quick swap pads. And look, that got stuck and I was working on it for about 10 minutes to take a single pad out. What? That doesn't make sense. Come on, please. BMW, Audi, please explain yourselves why why the sticky pads here you go this is a better idea isn't it a shim how's that instead of like sticky pads so annoying that's one done and i decide to go is it me all right if anyone from bmw watches my videos could you tell me sizes at the front and the back is it the same it looks the same to me it's really the same to be honest i think that it's definitely the same size and my supplier just don't know that it is the same i'm pretty sure it is i will be checking part numbers we don't have john to video uh, yeah, a bit of a shame really. Went on holiday and left me on my wands. <sighs> Man, this takes bloody ages. Right, so we have just dropped the M4 back. It's got 
three advisories, uh, which is the three tires needs replacing. <laughs> three tires. <laughs> three tires needs replacing. And um, yeah, one of them has got nail in it, but yeah, we're gonna get that sorted. <laughs> Why does he look bald? Yeah, you look bald. What's going on? But yeah, um, anyway, we have to order, the, order those three tires and uh, get it replaced for him as soon as possible because one of them's got nail in it and we don't know what's going to happen. So um, I'm going to end this video here. And uh, yeah, please like, comment and share it as well. And subscribe. <laughs> oh my, what the hell was that? Uh, yeah, please uh, like, comment, share and subscribe. And we will see you on the next one. Peace. Peace. He was wearing his hoodie earlier and actually looked hoodie, nice. Hoodie. He's wearing his hoodie.